All right, so I'm doing this example, ladies and gentlemen. There's two different ways we can do this. Again, just like the last one, you can either rewrite this using the rules of exponents that I went over for quotient. I can literally just rewrite this as 75x squared divided by 12xy squared. Now, why, is this, why would this be way helpful? Well, for one, you guys should be familiar with using this method because simplifying this rational expression is exactly what we did last class period. Or I'm sorry, last test. Put that down. It's exactly what we covered last class period. 75 over 12. 12 does not divide into 75, right? But can we reduce that fraction? Yes. Yeah, we can divide 3 into the top and bottom, which gives us 25 over. fourths. Yeah, I'm going to do it both ways. So you don't put the three. What I'm trying to show you is um, this reduces down to 25 over 4. 3 divides into 75, 25 times. 3 divides into 12, 4 times. Then, what is x squared minus x? Where did you get x squared from? Oh, x to the fifth. So x to the fifth, x to the fifth over x is x to the fourth. And y squared is just going to remain y squared under there. Now, you guys can see, you can take the square root of all of these terms. We take the square root of 25, 4, x to the fourth, and y squared. And so what you're left is 5x squared, uh, right over here, 5x squared over 2y. You're right, so you just leave it like that. But the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of y squared is 2. However, this isn't really the way that I kind of showed you. I also said, hey, you guys can just simplify each of these, right? So if you're to simplify each one, the other way to do it, which is perfectly fine, is to rewrite this as 25 times 3, x squared times x squared times x, all over um, the square root of 4 times 3 times x times y squared. Right? If you simplify each one separately, you can go ahead and complete these. Then the square root of 5 is, or square root of 25 is 5, x times x times the square root of 3x, all over the square root of 4 is 2, square root of y squared is y, and you're left with 3x. Those divide out, and your final answer again is 5x squared divided by 2y. So you can simplify, which I, would, which I prefer you guys doing before you divide, or you can also just, as I mentioned, using the rules, put them under the same radical. All right, just want to show both sides so you guys can